Oh, why is the mic so far away from me? Ooh, hear it, hear a dragon closer to my mouth. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Totally Local Podcast. I'm your host, Andrew Topat. With me, as always, most of the time, is the legendary Leo. Hello, Leo. There's no place like home. Totally Local Podcast, home to whoever listens and loves the Jersey Shore area as much as we do. Mammoth and Ocean County. Uh, visit us at our Instagram uh, account, totally underscore local underscore podcast. Or visit our website at totallylocalpodcast.com. Leo. Yeah. It's been so long. It's been so long. We've been so many places. We've done so many things. <laughs> I'm glad. Listen, I'm so happy the summer's over. I'm ready to get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> it it like flew by. I know I feel like an old person saying that, but it really, it really flew by. It's it really, really it's it really hard, did. It's hard for me to to get up and go and do stuff in the summertime. I mean, you're you're like a social butterfly. You're a man about town. You like to <laughs> wheel and deal. It's not me at you all. know. You roll around with such ease, you know, like yeah. buttered roller skates. Oh. You're just gliding through town. Oh, and uh, you know, I'm sure that you just, you just, you just, your, your lifestyle that you've become accustomed to just allows you to really kind of enjoy the boogie, enjoy the nightlife. Well, I, I'm gonna enjoy it now that it's starting to get a little bit cooler. Opening up my windows, can sleep at night, feeling great. Um, football's coming back. So oh, excited about that. You know, um, I I watched, <laughs> I watched. You know what I like? I like I like stories. You know, football. You watch football, and it's like, you know, they're just throwing a they're just throwing balls around. You don't know what's going on. But I was watching something on HBO about uh, the Raiders and oh their God. story. Yeah, hard knocks. <laughs> Is that what it's called? It's like the, it's some kind of sport ball documentary they do, thing. They do a different uh they do a different team each season before leading up to the beginning of the season. What's the what Chucky? What's the coach's name? Gundy? Chucky Chucky Gundy? What's the guy's name? Oh shoot. Can't remember Van Gundy? Is that, that somebody that else? That is the biggest foul right now that I can't think of his name. <laughs> it is. Uh, Flag on the play as they say. <laughs> Wait. It is. It's like Jeff Van Gundy or something. You know something. what? How about this? Hey, Siri, who is the head coach of the Raiders? Oh, John Siri. Gruden John Gruden. 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 There Who's Gundy? Go. What am I talking about? You were close. I guess so. Okay. Uh, he, he, he's just getting back into coaching. He was, uh, he was taking a break. You could do that? Yeah, you can. You could do all, all anything you want. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, speaking of uh, Gruden, here we go. Uh, speaking, hey Mike and Ming, both on there, checking it out. Uh, thank you as always to a Shared Universe podcast studio and Ming for having this lovely uh, studio. We were just discussing how some people, some people don't know the uh, the beauty that it is to just you know mosey on into a studio, sit down, and have everything professionally set up. And I got to say, if you guys are interested, check out a Shared Universe podcast studio. Um, get in touch with Ming and start a podcast about all kinds of stuff because let me tell you the community is deep there are a lot of people and we we hung out with some of the wildest uh, podcasters I've ever met I think it was like the complete opposite of of our calm quiet show our sober and and don't <laughs> like you know I'm drinking it said regular coffee on it imperial cream ale and I'm I'm I'm, I'm just I'm sipping on it cuz you know what do I got to do for the rest of the day but uh, you know, don't. This is a this is an aberration. This is abnormal for me to be to be having a beer while I do this. But uh, for the Simmons and More podcast, we got wild in the streets. Yeah, yeah. We we drank we, some alcohol. We did. We're adults. Yeah. You know, we could do that, <laughs> but I don't know if we should do that. We, and we definitely should not do that. We uh, we got to get the, we're gonna get them on before before the season. Well, and over. there's a reason to get them on. Um, but but before I get into that, I definitely want to say thank you for um, having us and showing They're us so cool. what that's like. They're very cool. They make me feel so uncool. But um, it was fun to kind of just relax and hang out and just you know, just I mean, chill. for two hours. We'll 
probably longer than two hours, but it was, just yeah, kind of over uh, two hours. <laughs> wow. Of of a lot of of random uh, of randomness, but it was fun to 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 catch up and see how other people do it, you know. Mm-hmm. And you learn a couple of tips, and and they gave some great advice behind the scenes. So it's always they did. nice. They and very, they very supportive. They motivated us because Leo is really hard. Like I'm hard on myself sometimes, and Leo's hard on everyone, including <laughs> himself. So like put us together. And, you know, our, our uh, you know, it's not always motivating. Like when we come in here, we, we don't know if people are enjoying themselves and we got to, you know, do what we got to do. But talking to them, they're really kind of, you know, I, I forget how many deep I forget what episode number they were on when we were on there. But they basically told us, no, you guys are figuring it out and, yeah. uh, you know, just keep just keep doing people. People are responding and they like it. You know? I think the most important thing is like be authentically yourself like be go yourself. in there and be yourself i mean you can have a plan of the kind of show that you want to have but mm-hmm. feel comfortable being who you are so i i definitely learned some things and i was oh, yeah. right yeah you know re-motivated i mean we talked a oh, yeah. lot of pizza yeah we did <laughs> adam wants to talk about pizza i don't he wants to talk about pizza it's his show we talk about pizza yeah and so. then you guys are talking about sports and i, I might have derailed your conversation a couple times That's but right. uh you did it today with with gumby or whoever you gumby said. Gumby is a great football coach. Uh, Mike said that it's, Van Gundy is a basketball coach. So oh, that's yes. Gundy, where the confusion yes. came in. Um, so, I mean, I think we learned a lot this summer about ourselves, yeah. about each other. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's it's almost over. Back to back to work. Back to work. Well, I'm, I'm super excited to uh, announce that we will have something interesting happening this football season. Mm. If you do follow Simmons and more mm-hmm. and you happen to follow um, our show mm. and you happen to follow what's the other sports show? Uh, Call on the Shots. If you happen to follow Call on the Shots. Yeah. And if you happen to follow any of the other local <laughs> Jersey Shore podcasts. It's a squad, man. We rolled deep. I know. All of us are getting together to participate in a sport ball. A, a f- <laughs> The ultimate competition. A Final Fantasy games. I'm sure will be Man. cross show promotions. Final uh, Fantasy would be about, awesome. Talking about each other. Did I say Final Fantasy? Yeah, he did. That would be oh, sick. No, I meant fantasy football. Uh, uh, Final Fantasy would be awesome. Would be uh, cool. So we're, we'll, I'm sure there'll be some some cross talking and some podcasts. Done I have all to together. look stuff up. I think. I don't even know when the. I don't even know when the draft is. I'm Where sure it's you... soon. If somebody like say I was like some foreign person that got a job in the in the in the America and I came over and I like I, I'm getting a job and everyone's talking about sports they got their mustaches and their sports what where would you even like with football like where would you start you know what that's a great question because I was in that position uh-huh. and I knew nothing about it and I wanted to learn and the first thing I had to do was pick a team mm-hmm. and I had to say okay everybody's watching football I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch a game and I'm going to root for the team that I'm picking mm-hmm. and once I did that about five weeks into it I was completely hooked I was reading everything I could about it because I was like oh my is this like a it really is like a a show it's like a, a season long soap opera. There's people leaving. There's people coming. Mm-hmm. There's fights that are happening. There's uh, this coach and this girl. love triangle. Oh. <laughs> well, you know. So yeah, I would just say you know to Tight everybody ends. who wants to get into it, pick a team, and I think you should pick the New York Jets, yeah. and then just roll, uh, just roll with them through the season. By the end of the season, you'll know everything you need to know about football. Well, you know, it's funny because. I was watching that thing, and I was like, you know, I think if every team had a little cute little documentary story like those Raiders did, I was really feeling the Raiders. I could see myself getting Don't in there. Don't do the Raiders. The other team was my buddy, shout outs uh, to Miles. He, he he randomly picked my teams years ago. So on the Simmons and Moore podcast, uh, what was it, Bo- Bobby Moore was, uh, uh, he, his team was the Bengals, right? Well, that was my team, randomly picked Don't Bengals. Don't do the Bengals. Uh you know, but I'm leaning more towards Raiders. No, that's not going to be a good no. life. That's not going to be. A I good can't season. do Giants. You can't even have. You know, I want. I wanted to redesign the logo of the Giants. Uh, their logo because they just have the words. Because what are you going to have? So I wanted to redesign it, and my redesigned logo was like a big person, and then there was just a little people standing next to him. What? Well, they're giants, so you need like a giant, and then you, you for scale you need people next to him to be like wow he is really big no that's stupid but you know what otherwise it's just a guy standing there <laughs> originally 
the Giants uh, and the the Jets the Jets were called the Titans, mm-hmm. but the Giants were first. And when they created the Titans, mm-hmm. they named them the Titans because the Titans historically are the only things that can beat Giants. Mm. Mm. And then what happened? Why did the Jets change their name? Because they, they just wanted to fly away from the Giants. They're like, we don't we don't like you. We're going away. So make sure you're listening to the podcasts, um, our all of our local podcasts, Simmons and more calling the shots. Ours, yeah. uh, Asbury's a new one. Asbo, it, I don't know what it's called. It's, it? uh, it's called I love. I think it's I love Asbury. I love Asbury. Um, uh, and then uh, and this will be a little fun thing. And so local. I'm sure Simmons and more will be coming by our show to oh, yeah. laugh and make fun of how bad our fi- uh, fantasy football team is. Oh, doing. good. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's do it. Well, then I got to do a little research because. That's just based on like numbers, and uh, you could stats. pick different people from different teams. If you're all in like a fantasy, people are like, I probably know about fantasy football or don't care. But uh, if you're all in like a pool, if you're all playing together in your fantasy league, then if if one guy picks Joe Blow, I can't pick Joe Blow. No. So how do you? Who goes first to pick so you who they get? To- that's I we will need to figure out how mm. what the order will be. All There's right. probably going to be randomly selected order. So I'm going to I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to do some research. I'm going to put my two cents in. Yeah. And you if should. you know in the viewers at home if you have any idea You can come to my house um, on draft night and you can help me pick the players. Raiders are moving to Vegas, so it yes. would be a fun team to visit. Mm-hmm. So maybe a, Vegas Raiders sounds like it's it's like in my opinion they're 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 crazy in Oakland. If you take them to Vegas, it's like trashy crazy. Uh, yeah, well Yes. So <laughs> actually, I, you know, unfortunately, <laughs> this team isn't going to be too good this year. I don't think, mm-hmm. but I can see you because you used to live there, being a fan. I live in Albuquerque, which is right. a lot different oh, than Vegas. I was going to say, I was going to say Arizona. The car. Everyone does that. You know, when I was going, when I was applying to schools, uh, people would ask me why, and I say, I want to be the person that's graduating, that's going to the school that's the furthest away, and I was. And then the second thing, they would be like, they'd ask me about Arizona, and I'd be like, don't you know? And then the third thing <laughs> they'd say know. is, are you going to learn Spanish because you're going to be in a new country? I went to a <laughs> high school in New Jersey, and these people didn't know that New Mexico was a state, and for some reason, people confused with Arizona. Anyway, uh, so yeah, and the other thing about Simmons and Moore podcast, I sound like a... You know, I sound kind of sound like a doofus because in there I'm like I'm like C A M P C. Why does he keep saying that? But then like after the show it clicked. Like I listened to more of their podcast and it's Sam P C. That's what he was saying. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, isn't it S A M P C? And he kept saying Sam P C. And it sounded like he was saying C A M P C, but he was saying Sam P C, which makes way more sense. So check out Sam P C. Sam, hashtag Sam. PC. And listen to our crazy episode, which I think yeah. was uh, 189, 289. It was up there. Because I think they just did 190, 290, mm-hmm. something like that. Uh, and then let us know how insane it was. Mike says uh, we, sh- we should pick Gundy as our uh, our, uh, <laughs> no, as our with his, coach. Our, oh, Isn't I thought it? he was going to say our uh, – Right. So our fantasy. Oh, Gruden is the coach. Gundy saying, is the basketball. I've been guys. saying it's Gruden. <laughs> yeah, but, Gruden but, but is the coach. Sorry. Our our fantasy football name uh-huh. is huh. saved by LaBelle. Saved by LaBelle. Is he and like a Jets Le'Veon player? Le'Veon Bell is a. Oh God. All right, let's it, move on. Wh- well, who is Le'Veon <laughs> Bell? He's a very important running back. Are we gonna get him on the team? <laughs> already, I don't know. We have to do the draft. And well, find it's gonna out. suck if you name the team after him. We don't have him on our team. Nah, I'm still doing it. And why? And you? I guess it ties into the whole theme song thing. That was fun on the show. People were liking that more so that like we were all drunk at that point and like playing the theme songs. I don't know or singing them. I don't know if anyone else at home. But people listen to it. They have that whole inner circle podcast like ring of underworld. They have a lot I, of. I got a gig for that oh yeah from the, mentioning that on that show oh really <laughs> yeah but i don't want to talk about it because i've been told that i should not talk about it as much at, at who told point. you that who, who said it i know who said it <laughs> don't even have to say who said it you should All definitely right, anyway. talk about it you got to promote that shit man I that's wanna... how i got my sh- that's how i got my my gig at the saint what up to colin i still haven't nailed down the date but well, i mean what it's it, it's it's locked in though. It's locked in. I'm okay. focusing on the album. I just got somebody to mix. I got the vocals, as you all know. I, I got somebody to now mix a, a very uh, professional, actual engineer mixer man to like mix. He's gonna mix one of the songs and let me check it out. And I'm very excited because because we're 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 getting we're getting it done. It's happening. 
Well, I'm glad that you're making progress with this. Show me that smile again. It's gonna, it's gonna get done. It's gonna happen, and then Show we're gonna. Show me that smile again. All right. Sorry. Guess what? What? This is another for another reason. Mm. This is a great time of the year. It is a great time of the year. It's a great time of year for so many reasons. But I'm gonna name another one. Okay. Because this is birthday season. Mm, it is birthday season where it counts. It's Virgo season. It's Virgo oh, season. Wow. Oh, wow. Give me your give me your spreadsheets. Spreadsheets. Hey, spreadsheets. No, bro. So, so I thought that's what you <laughs> spreadsheets, data, <laughs> organization, Virgos. This past weekend was my thirty fifth birthday. You 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 got older. Thirty five? Yeah. Is really that what it was? It was really thirty. <laughs> <laughs> so um you had to oh man, dude. We went out like this is this is what totally local is all about because it's not only about you know Asbury Park or going where are the kids going what's the hip thing going on ooh the boardwalk you know oh what's going on over here over there it's like you got to go inland you know you're on the ocean you're hanging out in Long Branch you're on the West End you're going to Asbury Park you're hanging out on the boardwalk you know but. There's stuff inland mm-hmm. that, like, the locals, if you're totally local, you have to go inland. And Nettie's House of Spaghetti blew my mind and my taste buds, but not my wallet. Ew. Well, <laughs> come on. That was good. That was good, no? That Ew. was bad. Nettie's House of Spaghetti actually got a shout-out from me on this show, like, three months ago mm-hmm. and there's some pictures on Instagram if you want to check that out you can just go to their Instagram Nettie yeah. Spaghetti and check it out or you know do a search to look at some pictures but the the styling of the place is mm. awesome art deco in the building the owners who are running it so kind to have me have a party there last minute yeah. like the day of can we get them on here the, the 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 young lady the young woman that came over and was talking to you is she is she one of the owners or I think wh- she just works there the, the 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 not the one that was I don't know Anyway, uh, you know whatever. Chris, I know Chris. Chris oh, is is one of the, is one of the owners, and his wife, and she did come over and speak with us. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I thought you were talking about someone else. No, no, no. I'm talking about you know she was she was glad handing and making the rounds. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's what yes, you got to yes, do, yes, especially yes. in an Italian restaurant. You got to go, hey, hey, let's go, let's go. Oh, okay. Um, so I I would love to have them on because I'm so <laughs> fascinated by like they picked a place you know off the beaten path. They got this whole Art Deco vibe going on. Delicious food. I was like, I got my plate, and I was like, I don't think I'm going to eat it all. And I ate all of it. I ate all of it. It was so good. Well, I'm pretty sure you ate all of it. I did eat all of it. Yeah. Shit. Man. You know what? What? I'm working on that, okay? I'm working on that. So um, it was great, though. Thank you for coming out to my birthday dinner and to everybody else who made it for Heather. uh, for putting it together for our friend of the show, Mike, uh, for always listening to our show and then uh, helping me plan that. Mike, what are we doing with these clips? Mike gave me some... Um, what did he give you? He gave me some crab, lump crab meat that mm. was so good from Klein's. If Tanya were, and Chris are the owners, by the way. Tanya and Chris. Mm. I know Chris. I, for, yeah. I didn't know Tanya, but thank you. Um, so they gave... He gave me some... Uh, Kleins, if you have not been to Kleins restaurant, Klein's one of the fish best market? seafood fish markets in, in Jersey Shore. And he went and he picked up some some lump crab meat, which I love, love, love. And I ate some of it, mm-hmm. and then I forgot about it. Oh, and I'm wondering if there's some left in what he's making. So I want to know what happened with that. But thank you for everybody who came out. It was a great time. And then the next day, mm. I um, hosted or had a a pool party. At the Beverly Ocean Front Hotel, you guys were like the Berkeley dude. It's Berkeley, the Berkeley. You guys that. were shot. You guys are doing a little Texas two step. We didn't know where you guys were going. Here, you're going. You're going to Tides. You're going to Berkeley. Tides was like a shit show, well, though, right? I forgot that uh, Uncle DJ's friend of the show, DJ Uncle's nephew, mm. uh, performs on Sundays at the Ber- Beverly. Berkeley. I wasn't sure. If- <laughs> Oh, Berkeley. Think of Saved by the Bell, yes. Elizabeth Berkeley. Okay. Well, you thank go. you for having us for our pool party. It was a great time. DJ Uncle's Nephew was Are you great. allowed in there without being? Sundays, you are. And no one's going to bother you. No one's going to bother you. Because we went there, and there was like nobody there that one time. And the guy was like, <laughs> and I'm like, what's your problem, bro? There's no one here. Uncle's Nephew in the building. Let us hang out. 
Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can go on Sundays. I think it may be ten dollars at a certain That's point. That's fine. Just, just let like, me know. Have a sign up. Yeah. Just let me know. I'll, I just want to. I just want to ball out. To, like, we were just out. there for hours, hanging out, drinking. Uh, what are these spike cider things mm. that everyone's doing? I yeah. finally, finally got into it. What's the weather going to be like? We need a weatherman. We do need a weatherman. We need a weatherman to talk about the weather. Um, okay. oh, is it going to be like? <laughs> Is it going to be like Labor Day weekend? Are we are we dealing with oh, some I, sunny sunshine or I what? I hear I we're going to have some really nice weekend weather for not my birthday anymore because it was mm. last weekend. But now we'll be celebrating your birthday. That's right. This weekend mm-hmm. we're we're exactly seven days apart. I'm Saturday the twenty fourth, and you're Saturday some other number. Feels about right. Yes. Feels about. A fright, uh, and then um, we'll be doing something for your birthday. I don't know what we'll figure it out. So, I mean, we're not. Listen, man, I'm, I'm at an age now where it's like this listen, is your you last mean? birthday with without a baby. You better celebrate it. You will never have this moment again in your life. Wow. <laughs> Cue the f- house music. <laughs> 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 I have some ideas on what I want to do this weekend. So once we get into that, you let me know. Okay, I have some some great ideas for your weekend. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, hit me with it. All right. So this weekend, Labor Day weekend, August 31st through September 1st, Mm. you could decide that you want to take a trip down to Bradley Beach for their Lobster Fest. Speaking of seafood, because they're going to have all their vendors out there doing all their Lobster Fest seafood. They couldn't do it last year. Some guy like pulled the pulled the rug on them. So I'm glad they got to do it this year because I like Bradley Beach and I want them to make that money. And you don't live too far from there, so maybe uh, you'll you'll swing by there. But if you said, you know what, I don't like fish, mm-hmm. I don't want crabs, I want something a little bit I more hearty. Yeah. And I and I want to get drinking drunk for my for my how old do you want to be? Forty. I'm gonna be thirty nine for my thirty ninth birthday. Well, you may decide. Uh, to check out the barbecue and craft beer festival at Mammoth Park. This is the thing, though. This is the thing, and I'll let you continue. I'm gonna let you finish, but uh, <laughs> I have to serve. I have to make it. I've never. It doesn't matter how young or old I am. I I have to be able to make it till the evening. Okay, so I need coffee, and I can't like I can't drink. Like I, I'll go. I think the well, keep going, but I think the the crab the beer thing you said is good. I'll have a couple beers, mm-hmm. and then I'll be able to go home and then go out. But I've never been the. And any of my friends will tell you how lame I am. I've never been the type of person to be like, like just go out all day and just yeah. get just stupid. So continue. And the, I did that for my birthday on the <laughs> Sunday of pool day. You pool day. And you by got the end of the day. I was stealing napkins from. Um... <laughs> From a restaurant, right? I can't think of the name. Of it. The cloth napkins? Yeah. What are you steal? Like wearing them on your head and running around? I was like, I think these are lovely. I want to take, <laughs> I want to take these home. Oh, that's when you know Actually, you're drunk. Kelsey was one of my friends. Kelsey was 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 In, waiting there. Was she instigating? Brick you? wall. Ah, and, and brick Barry wall. Park. And she was like, Here, I'm gonna slip a couple more for you. And she, she have them at home. Bring those. Yeah, back. you go to my house right now. They're on my living room table. We gotta <laughs> we we gotta do a tour of Asbury Park because I got some stuff from uh from what's it called from Lotteria. I got some of their little dipping things. I gotta bring I gotta bring those back to them. Sorry, we're gonna guys. do a tour. Where we return all the things we've stolen. Yeah, epic shouts to everybody at Bond Street. Shout outs to Charlie. Shout outs to uh, all right. Diana Marie. Then um the you may also shout decide. outs to Pat Pisano. Oh. Sorry, you may also decide. That you want to go to Lorita Winery's Customer Appreciation Day, which is going to be from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Free admission. It's in New Egypt, and you can just drink, drink, huh? drink. New <laughs> Egypt ain't totally local. New Egypt is fucking far. Well, listen. Okay, no, I appreciate, I appreciate the effort, but I those are your three choices. So, which have my pregnant wife driving me home because I'll just be like, well, <laughs> Those are some festivals and uh, things going on this. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing, if you want to know. What? First of all, I well, first of all, I got to check with my wife because, you know, I don't know what she's going to be want to be doing. And she's, you know, obviously pregnant and I don't want to be. Are you winking at me? I don't want her to be, you know, you know, I want her to not be mad at me and I want her to have fun and, you know, all those kinds of things. So uh, what I'd like to do and if she's listening, I love you, baby. Ew. Uh, 
<laughs> Friday night, Asbury Park Brewery. Cheap Horse in the building. What's Cheap Horse? Cheap Horse is my favorite band from uh, from California. They're they're uh, they're totally local. Uh, my buddy John is in the band. How are they totally local from California? They live out in California, but they they travel like when they can. They travel and they do this tour. One of the band members I think is has family in like Montreal. They have family in Jersey. They know people, so then they just go. It's a trio, so then they just go. You know, they just go on. Uh, they just go on tour. So, are you gonna? Are they sort of like cheap trick? N- no, no, man, come on, no, they're not. They're more like I-, I liken them to more of like a like a like a ween punk, like trio kind of pop punk kind of you know sensibilities. It's just a fun. It's just a fun time. And epic shouts to uh, to Ryan who is on. He's the only featured guest on the Nude Curtis album. I ran into them when they played in Asbury last time they were here. And uh, I know John in the band. I've known him. Epic shouts. He, you know, we went to we went to high school. We went to grammar school together. I've known that kid forever. Um, and, you know, whatever. And I'm at the show and they're hanging out and I'm talking to John. And then he introduces me to Ryan, who, you know, got John into the band. And I'm talking to him, like, how much is the shirt? Blah, blah. He gave me the shirt what what he gave me this shirt and then i was talking about music and he's like yeah dude i love making music blah blah, blah. so he's on my album I, th- I i gave him one of the tracks i'm like just put something on it and he just shredded it with the guitar it's so cool um and he's the only like featured you know person on the on the album everyone else is like studio musicians so they don't get they don't get the shout outs that ryan gets so you'll be there at their show. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Hasbury Park Brewery um, on Friday night. Uh, it's $10 entry. Totally worth it. They're playing with <laughs> Wet Brain and VX. And it's great because Asbury Park Brewery, obviously, you know, they'll, they'll be playing till like 11, 1130. They're not open late, late night. So you could go there and then afterwards. I can walk home because I live across the street. Yeah. So we can get a sweet <laughs> Magic the Gathering session going. That, well, it's your birthday. Oh, my God. That's all. That's all I'd want to do, really. Yeah. That would be great. That would be so good. This That'd actually so is cool. perfect for me. I can walk there. I just don't know if like Wub and Ralph will be down for like 11 o'clock sesh because by that point maybe we'll play before go there and then afterwards just chill at the house yes you know maybe something like that um and then as far as saturday i really don't have any (laughs) i don't really know what's going on as far as saturday goes i think we're trying to finagle some sort of barbecue activities uh over at the compound over at heather and mike's yeah that would be nice we could bring a little nugget Oh man, epic shouts to my dog Nugget. All right. No, no, you don't know. I took her to the dog park yesterday and she was traumatized. This this husky like just mauled her. Ooh. Yeah, it was like a pack of dogs and she can hold her own cuz she hangs out with the big dogs. And I'm oh. like, you go in, you go into the dog park and nobody's watching this husky and like she goes in all happy because she doesn't know any better she's like hey what's up guys woo running around and then this dog just attacks her and she's trying to get away pisses herself so scared and i didn't know what to do i just like grabbed her scooped her up got her out of there and like in the in retrospect i'm like should i have chastised people should i have chastised people should i have been like how dare you no but you should have let them know your dog just attacked my dog yeah, well, I should have done something, but all I did was I was so I was so nervous for the dog. I just scooped her up, and I'm like, I got to get out of here. Yeah, that's so I don't I'm, know. I wouldn't personally. I wouldn't do the dog park thing because I would be too afraid that was going to happen. You got to know what time you're going in. We have all these rules now. We took her for a walk yesterday, and we're like, there's all these rules now. Like if we're walking up, we're gonna eye everybody down. We're gonna see how many dogs are in there. We're gonna ask people, hey, is this your dog? Get the fuck away from the entrance. Control your dog. You know, you got to let the dog in. But this, anyway, so shout out to the Nugget. She's fine, though. I don't have a dog, so I can't talk. But to me, dog parks where, like, all these dogs just running around sounds like, what, what, it sounds like a cat park where a whole bunch of cats are. <laughs> I mean, it sounds just as gross, like fleas and mean? smells Flea? and pee well, I mean, spots. Well, yeah, that's all, that's pretty much all true. But dogs like all that stuff and they need somewhere to run. Hey, if I had a fence around my house, I, well, no, Nugget still loves hanging out with dogs. So I'd still bring her to the dog park, but you just got to bring it the right time oh. you gotta you gotta be careful did you do you know about like a dog like place where you could take your dog to play with other dogs during like a doggy daycare 
Uh, I've heard of them. I don't know any specific ones. Oh, well, that seems like it would be like a better situation. That sounds hooshy fushi. A dog park, you just go and sit down, you let your dog run around. And look what happened. <laughs> it was my mistake. It was my it was my mistake. I, I feel so bad. I feel bad. Well, one other really cool thing happened at oh, the Jersey me. Shore this past uh, weekend. Hmm. I am walking down the boardwalk, and I see a stage set up in mm-hmm. Asbury Park on the boardwalk mm-hmm. right across from the Stone Pony. Mm-hmm. And Oh. And I uh, hear that the Jonas Brothers are going to be performing there uh, about 6 o'clock. Yeah. They don't end up performing until 7.45, so I do miss them. Oh, uh, you didn't hang out? I did not hang out. But it was really interesting to see... I didn't watch the MTV Awards either, but someone sent me a clip of the Jonas Brothers performance uh, and just getting to see Asbury Park in that light, mm-hmm. like just, you know, highlighted on national TV yeah. on you know, a whole bunch of channels at the same time. And they're showing streaming Asbury Park and they got fireworks going and it's just like crazy. And so shout out to Asbury Park for having a safe, fun event that hit national TV. Everybody was talking about Asbury Park for a few days. And so. I just want to give a shout out to Asbury Park for making a successful. Yeah, I mean, I'm not one to listen to, say, the Jonas Bros. I respect their game, you know, whatever they're up to. Great. You know, epic non shout out to all the haters out there. They're like, I'm like, dude, that's what Asbury Park is all about. The Asbury Park is the Jonas Brothers now, guys. Like, get used to it. Mm -hmm. Like, be happy that there's things going on. Be happy that your friends, you know, are making that money when they come in. When people come into the town, everybody that works, bartenders, DJs, waiters, waitresses, managers, accountants, lawyers all right <laughs> they all they're all getting money because people are coming into the town so like be happy about it and just because it isn't your cup of tea you know it's you know am i gonna go see the jonas brothers no but i you know respect the hustle guys come on there's so much negativity in this world right now leo it like gets me down sometimes no man. don't let it get you down all right thanks you're right you're right i'm back i'm back now okay good yeah so that was saturday and then for sunday 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 i just found out about this today um, there is a disco party. I'm in. Langosta. Now, I'm wondering if it's, like, legit Langosta or if it's, like, you know, not legit Langosta. I, I think it's Langosta proper. It's not Anchor's Bend. It's not whatever, whatever, um, because it's listed as Langosta Lounge. Um, disco, funk, and classic dance vibes by uh, Adam J., a.k.a. Adam, owner of Yes Graphic, who knows oh, his music. Oh, wow. Yes friend of the show guest of the show and one of my favorite djs all around james vance Mm -hmm. who uh, i haven't seen him forever but he i've played with him i played with him with the at the lanes before the lanes became the lanes it is now we had so much fun he has impeccable taste all around and and i love the music he plays so uh adam and james are playing there and then james also shouted out foggy notion in the post he's not on the on the on the flyer itself so i don't know if he was added later maybe maybe they're playing in different room i don't know but i'm just so excited at the idea of that so i would love to you know my ideal scenario my ideal scenario for uh for labor day sunday september 1st would be to just sip drinks and hang out there and get lit and loose not like drunk stupid drunk where i'm like wwf like throwing chairs or anything but just nice and lit to where i'm like when i'm going around I'm like doing the shoulder uh-huh, dance, you know, yeah. and I'm pointing at people. Hey, ooh, uh, eh. yeah. you know, that's yeah. what I want. That's what I want on Sunday, you know. Okay. Well, and then on Monday, I have no plans. <laughs> well, I don't know how you feel about this. Wait First a second. Of- Saturday, Sunday, September 1st. Okay, yeah, that's Sunday. And then Monday is the second, so I don't have any plans for the second. Okay. Well, here's some potential throw-ins mm. throw them in but first baby. of all i want to say do you know who drake bell is it's like i know the name he was like on mtv he was in uh he was like on nickelodeon or something drake and josh or josh and bell okay anyway he was at the uh, house of independence but what was he doing there i think he's an artist what do you mean like an artist like a like a guitar player yeah did you hear about the <laughs> but that's not what i was gonna say. i didn't listen to the calling the shots podcast yet where they where they interview pete and pete because Pete and Pete were oh, here he from Nickelodeon. Oh, he finally did that. Yeah, that was like last week. They oh. they like they did a show and then they interviewed him. They sat down Who's to do Pete? the podcast. Pete and Pete. Both, both Petes? Yeah, they were doing that? the show. Oh. They have a whole thing. Yeah. 
So check out the uh, call on the. I think it's on Are the call sure on the shots podcast. Beat? Yeah, that's the whole. It's that's the whole thing. I knew it was gonna be one Pete. It's but I didn't two know Pete's it was both Pete's. for the price of one, baby. Pete and Pete is the show. Down, 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 down. It's mighty strange. I love that theme song. You should put that on your repertoire. Leading ring. All right. So anyway, on uh, Sunday, August. I mean Saturday. Or is it Friday? Hold on. No oh, boy. On August Friday, August thirtieth. If you're about my age, mm-hmm. and maybe a couple years older, but probably mm-hmm. not thirty nine because that might be too old. Uh-huh. <laughs> and a couple of years younger, you remember partying at the Jersey Shore mm-hmm. and listening to Louis Devito. Yeah, I saw. I mean, him, I didn't do it, but yeah, I know what you're saying. I saw him mm-hmm. perform about three months ago mm-hmm. with Raina, who was also like a local Jersey Shore, New York City. So they're back. Club music. She did a bunch of songs. She has an album. I think it's they're great, back. but whatever. Anyway, uh, so they sometimes perform together. He's going to be perform- performing Louis Devito. At House of Independence. So if you like that, if you kind of remember that, you want to jump into that. I want house music all up and down Asbury Park. Let's get it popping, people. So you'll do the House of Independence, 9 p.m., August 30th, for Louis de Vido. Um, Epic shouts to my wife, too, who said, it's your birthday. I'll do my best, Bay." But I don't know if people, you know, well, she's, <laughs> she's totally pregnant. So yeah. I don't know, she's <laughs> be like, you know, I don't want to leave her at home. I want you to come out. Sugar muffin, but uh, I, I want you to be, you know, I want her to be comfortable. Saturday, mm. August 31st, House of Independence, 90s and 2000s Black Light Party. Mm. Black 90s light. by nature. Just clean those clothes, people, because if you show up, all the oh, stains are going to be gross. there. <laughs> all the stains. All of them. Um, you know, I got to say, though, now that it's if I'm reaching this birthday, I kind of finally feel like the age I've kind of always felt since i was a kid like right now this is the age i feel like i've been my whole life i can see that <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> how dare you um That's... man oh so uh we, we got labor day coming and i'm excited is we... it labor day or memorial day it's labor day oh. dude oh sorry um w- what do you see on a monday happening Couch, yeah. Netflix, mm. recovery, yeah. Oh, and then man. anxiety because you have to go to work. The yeah, next I know day. it's so <laughs> fucked. Oh man. But yeah, I'm looking forward to just kind of trotting around and figuring it out. You know, uh, it's you know, as far as as far as uh, you know, your your birthday was concerned. We had fun last weekend. Yeah, it's just interesting that it all wraps up. Uh, you know, and plus, you know, Fish will be playing, so somebody will be having that on at some ch- Well, TV. Mike's our friend of the show, Mr. Mike, who lets us know when our audio is and often fills us in when we say wrong things on the show. His birthday. Yeah. Uh, is, is Oh, man, Tuesday, I got exclusive. I believe. Me and him have been doing a collab bow. What do you mean? We, he sat down. He's like, he had an idea. He heard about Nude Curtis. Oh. Da, 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 da. Then he had an idea, and I laid it down like butter. I made a new track. I made a new track, and we're gonna we're gonna collabo collabo on there. That was quick. Well, that's how sometimes when it hits, you know, Mike's got those ideas. Epic shouts, Fractal Sasquatch. He he comes up with these ideas, and then, you know, just one thing leads. I hope he likes it, you know. But uh, you know, we're 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 looking. Uh, I'm looking forward to that, and we then we don't plug Fractal Sasquatch enough. They have because they gotta play more. They have a show on Ten Four, which is one good of their buddy. songs. Ten Four, good buddy. The check best. them out everywhere you would they gotta they gotta re- i know it's a lot coming from me but they gotta release an album they gotta put music out there i thought they had an album no they have a couple of videos out but they didn't put out a squatchy album oh. you know we got to do a whole benefit concert maybe in the spring it'll be me you and them we could do a triple header can we just get to your show first oh man i'm excited i'm so excited the guy i talked to him today he's he's working on a song I'm very excited. All it's right. almost done. I'm so excited. Yeah, I just can't hide it. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, I mean, we got this weekend coming up. Uh, I, look, I want to I want to go for it, guys. I want to I want to do it. I want I want to have a good time. I want to have a responsible will. time. Well, do you want to have a responsible time or a good time? I want to have a good time and I want to be mostly responsible. Okay. Is that possible? Yes. 
Okay. We should do the pool thing again for your birthday. We could do it for my birthday on oh, Sunday. Man. You think so? That was a lot of fun. It was just warm enough. It was not that many people. I hope the weather's nice. The DJ is obviously great, and you yeah. can tell him to play stuff, and he plays it. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah. I would. I'd be throwing stuff at you. Get away from me, man. So it's good. I'm glad to see all this music. Anyway, I'm glad to see all this stuff going on and people, you know, doing stuff and getting it getting it done. Uh, <laughs> big, big news for next week's show. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you gonna is this? A, are you gonna? What is it? It has to do with Pizza Quest. Oh, really? And the end of Pizza Quest. Oh my God! Is it finally over? It's almost. Have we brought the ring to Mordor? It will be the. F- Final results will oh, be man. out for all locations it's next been such, week. It's been such a quest. It yeah. really has been. It really has been a quest. You know, and we got to move on <laughs> to the next thing. You know, yeah. I saw somebody doing a, uh, I forget what, you know, some podcast, social media, whatever it was, but they're doing a pork roll, egg and cheese. I'll have to look it up. But I'm oh, like, I don't like that. I don't like pork roll. Oh, really? I, I mean, if it's done right, a nice, well done pork roll. You know, you got to go in. Oh, and my wife turned me on to uh, Swiss cheese. It's pork roll, egg, and Swiss. No. With the well-done pork roll. All right. So good. Anyway, pizza Anyway, quest. I think some. I think in North Jersey it's pork roll and, like, the Jersey no, Shore. No, it's Taylor Ham up there, oh, okay. and down here it's pork roll. Right. Where the, where the you know, where Mick Jagger, he said it was pork roll. He made a mistake and said it was pick, pork roll. Uh, he apologized and said it's obviously pork roll. Because um, somebody's qu- somebody quoted him as saying Taylor Ham, and he, and he was like, "No, no, no, it's pork roll." And I'm like, "You know what? You have no idea what the hell you're talking about. God bless you. You're still moving around. I don't know how you're moving around with, with like all that embalming fluid or whatever has you <laughs> moving. But God bless you, Mick. Just keep rolling with it. Keep rolling." Um, I I was thinking about this. I think about pizza so much because of Pizza Quest and because of this show. I'll be driving around thinking about pizza, ingredients of pizza, where to get pizza, what's up with pizza. And I'm wondering to myself as I'm driving, I'm like, you know, we're going to put all the stuff on the website. We're going to have all the research on the site. But where do we go? Like, what what did Frodo do after like the whole thing happened? Like, what did he do at the end? You know, move like move on to the next thing. Well, w- w- I don't know. Do you just you Our, just retire? The website, the website will end up being this massive piece of it's cool like, things that we've researched. Mm. Uh, Pizza Quest, local beer quest. Yeah. This quest. Okay. Well, we'll that's what we'll do then. But as long as and if we, if it comes down to it, if people want to challenge. Whoever wins in the end, if people want to challenge that or if people contest it, we could always revisit it later on. But it's going to stand as like these are the places to go. Not only the ultimate winner, but these are the pizza places to go if you're in a, you know. In that area. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, try harder, guys. Oh. You got to try harder. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So oh, what do you what do you look what do you what are you looking what are you looking forward to now? Nothing. Um, nice. I'm relax. actually going to uh, probably uh, do all of your birthday things. Uh, those sound sound fun, fun, right? right. Yeah. I just want to get a mojito. Do they make mojitos? Uh, you still? know, my only birthday wish was mm. to sit around and do nothing but drink pina coladas. I mm. had one, and it wasn't that great. Oh, really? Yeah. Where did I have one recently? Oh, I was down in Ocean City, Maryland. I was ordering Bahama Mamas. They were so oh, good. I don't know what that is. It's it's just another fruity drink. I love a good cocktail. And I'm sad that I missed that on Nettie's, Nettie's House of Spaghetti. They have a cocktail list, and I missed it. And I just ordered a paltry uh, gin and tonic, and I could have been having a fancy cock. I want to have – listen, I want <laughs> – I love house music, Magic the Gathering, and fruity cocktails. And if you could deliver any of those, hopefully all of those, then I'm having a good time. You're Okay. <laughs> You know where you should go, but uh, little buddy's hideaway. Uh, why? You got they do frozen fruit drinks. Mm-hmm. They do house music, mm-hmm. and that's two out of three ain't bad. Yeah, they don't <laughs> they don't always do house music, but anyway, I'm lo- I'm really looking forward to I'm really looking forward to this epic shouts. Uh, DJ Uncle's nephew, uh, he he was on here, jumped on here. Uh, I don't know if he's still on there, but uh, that that sounds like a lot of fun. As long oh, as I can get in there. What? One more thing. His mm. birthday is this weekend as well. Shut your mouth. And he's hosting at a new club oh, in Oh, yeah. Park. What, what was that? Oh, I'm it's looking at it the up. Ho- it's at the hotel. It, oh, it's at, yeah, in the, in the, in the subterranean yeah. levels. Beverly. Oh, my Berkeley. God. 
We got to, yeah. That, so the Berkeley Oceanfront Hotel on Saturday night from some crazy That's what hours, we're doing. It was like five to one or something like that. Maybe not. She's in crackers. I know. He's going to be, you know. You know, if if I'm going to be really, I'm, I'm going to be really upset if like, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be conflicted, I guess, uh, if house music and disco and all this stuff starts taking off in the area because I retired. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you'll come back. Uh, the Berkeley Oceanfront Hotel, Uncle's Nephew. Uh, it's called the Berkeley Oceanfront Nightclub. Down. Saturday, August 31st, 9 to close. So it wasn't that long. Uh, and it's his birthday event. Something oh, new man, and exciting. Oh, man, Virgo's coming and, out uh, in full force. He's hosting for his birthday. All right. All right. Well, uh, I don't know. You got anything else? Is yep. that is that all we're doing? That's enough. Man, <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> it's been but so I'm long. so happy. So epic shouts <laughs> to everyone. Uh, we love everyone and what they're doing. Thank we you, love- Ming. Yeah, thank you, Ming. Shared Universe Podcast Studio. As obviously, uh, we are. Uh, who are we? Oh yeah, we're totally local. Oh, wow. Uh, totally underscore local it'll, it'll underscore take us, podcast. It'll take us a few weeks to get back into the flow. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We got some guests coming. We got some exciting guests before the season's over too. Yeah. Um, TotallyLocalPodcast.com. Uh, thank you as always, Leo, for thank being you. here. And Thanks happy for birthday. doing this. Thank you. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. Yeah. And happy birthday, Mike. Yeah. Happy birthday, uh, Uncle DJ Uncle. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Everybody's birthday, Everybody. Virgo's summer. <laughs> Woo! Um, anyway, yeah, guys, check us out. Check it up. Check it out. I posted the newest, latest uh, podcast, and then this one will go up, and everyone will be happy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Four weeks late. Whatever, dude. Who cares? We weren't doing it, so it's not like they missed anything. <laughs> All right. Um, All right, later. Bye. <laughs>